looking for a delicious baked salmon recipe, then you're gonna wanna keep watching. Mama Needs a Gold. Thank you so much for joining me today. And if you're new here, welcome, welcome. So friends, today I am making a baked salmon recipe that I found over on Chef Jar, I believe it is. I will link it or put the description right here. And I also will have a link to this recipe in the description box. Um, if you don't mind going and checking them out and spreading the love, I would appreciate it. I um, have been craving salmon again. I don't know what it is, but seafood has been my thing these last couple months. My son is home from college and we are the only two that eat salmon in the house. Um, so I thought, you know what? I'm really hungry today. I had some in the freezer, so I took it out this morning. I'm gonna make it for lunch. Uh, he is not home at the moment, but I'm gonna save it for him for a little bit later. So I thought I'd go ahead and share this recipe with you. I will go ahead, turn the camera down, go over all the ingredients, and then we'll get started. All right, my friends, we're gonna start right here, right in the middle. I have a pound of pink salmon. The recipe does call for two pounds. I just have a pound here, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and just make the recipe as it is. Um, so what I'm doing is actually for two pounds, but I'm only using one pound. I have some cilantro. It does call for fresh cilantro, but that's what I had on hand. I have a lemon. It does call for unsalted butter, but I'm using margarine. <laughs> I have some salt and pepper, minced garlic, and I is that called hoisin sauce, I think? Um, some of that. Oh, I might as well tell you, since you heard it, I preheated the oven to 375. <laughs> I have some sliced pineapple. We're going to be using the pineapple and some of that juice, so make sure you don't drain that juice. And then this sweet chili sauce. And friends, I had no idea. I was looking in like the Heinz chili sauce, and I could not find sweet chili sauce at all. Um, and then I went back and looked at the recipe, and it had a link so I clicked on the link and it took me to Amazon and it had this and I was like, oh, okay. So I went back to the grocery store the next time and sure enough, there it was. Um, but from what I understand, there is a sweet chili sauce uh, like through Heinz or one of those companies, um, but it's a little bit different. I'm not sure, but this is what they had. So that is all of the ingredients and I'm going to stop talking and we're going to get started. All right, my friends. So... I have my salmon just on this tray. I figured it'd be easier to season it and then transfer it to the other tray. Oh, a little too much on that one. <laughs> Go ahead and add a little bit of salt and pepper. Okay. Let me go ahead and Flip that over. Probably should have gotten my, ah! <laughs> my tongs out instead. Oh, Lordy. All right, a little bit more salt and pepper on this side. All righty. I'm going to push this over to the side and bring over my larger baking sheet. Actually, I want to get a fresh fork. All right, so I have my can of pineapple. Don't forget, we're going to reserve the juice because we're going to be using that. I'm going to go ahead and put down some pineapple. Probably do four for the larger one and three for the smaller one. I did grab these while I was in there. I'm gonna go ahead and put my salmon right on it. I am putting it skin side down. Alrighty. Now that that's done, let's go ahead and gather all of our ingredients and mix up the sauce. 
All right, my friends, we're gonna go ahead and make our sauce for our um, salmon. I have a half a cup of the sweet chili sauce. So let's go ahead and put that in our bowl. Okay. Then we're gonna add four tablespoons of the hoisin, is that, am I saying that right, um, sauce. One, two, three, and four. Okay. Then I have a quarter cup of melted butter. I have three cloves of minced garlic. Two tablespoons of fresh, oh, there's a seed in there. Freshly squeezed lemon. And then last but not least, I have a quarter cup of that reserved pineapple juice. Alrighty, I'm just going to stir that up real quick. I'm going to go ahead and use my whisk. There we go. Mmm, smells good. Looks delicious. Alright, let me go grab my salmon is it i say salmon sometimes i say salmon i think you can say it both ways but i say salmon all right let me go grab it and then we'll pour it over all right so we have our salmon i'm gonna go ahead and pour this right over i think i told you my oven is pre-lit to 375 it says we're going to bake this for about 15 minutes and it says the last five minutes you can put it in the broiler so um i think i may do that because i like it like that so there we go you can see it made a lot of sauce there we go don't need all that like i said i used one pound not two pound <laughs> That's four, isn't it? I used one pound and not two. All right, let's go ahead and get this in the oven. I'll put it in for about 10 minutes and then um, we'll check it and then maybe not knock it up to the broil. All righty, let's go ahead and put this in the oven. Put it in for 10, check it, and then we'll see about putting it on broil. All right, our 10 minutes is up. Oh, my pan kind of. Messed up. All right, I think I'm gonna go ahead and put that on broil. And then go ahead and start the timer for five minutes. All right, let's check it out. Oh, 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 I forgot I had parchment paper on there. <laughs> oh, nice. My pan is a little warped. My juice ran off a lot. Oh, that looks delicious. I'm disappointed in my pan. I don't understand why that's so warped. But look, friends, I forgot. Let me show you up close. All right, my friends, here it is. Does that look delicious or what? I had to put it on this gorgeous plate just to take some pictures of it. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put it on a smaller plate. And it's my lunch, so we're going to do a quick taste test. All right, my friends, now we have the right portion size. Let's give it a try. Mmm. That's good. Mmm, pineapple. Mmm. Oh, yummy. I like that a lot. It's not strong at all. You taste the salmon. That's what I like. I thought, to be honest with you, I was a little concerned that it was going to be really, really sweet and you weren't going to taste the salmon. 
but it's not, it really isn't. Mm. Mm -mm. Nope, not at all. You taste the salmon. Oh my goodness, friends. This is a, a big one. We definitely would keep this in my rotation. It's really, really easy to make as you saw. Um, it's absolutely delicious. I, I can really taste the salmon, but the spices are there. It's not overpowering. It's not too sweet. It's not too spicy. It's perfect. Absolutely love it. So I'm going to go enjoy my lunch. So friends, thank you so much for joining me. I do appreciate it. If you haven't already, please hit that little subscribe button. It really truly helps me out when you are subscribed. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Also the thumbs ups, the likes, any kind of emojis, they all help boost me. Um, and it allows me to keep making videos to bring them out to you. So any comments, thumbs up, emojis, just say hi or whatever. Um, I would appreciate that as well. And also please go check me out over on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, and TikTok as I am active on all those social media sites as well. So friends, thanks so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it and I'll catch up with you next time. Bye.